Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Purcell Miller sunglasses. So the model name of these are going to be the uh, PO2463 sunglasses, and the sunglasses are going to have 59 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge. The square look on sunglasses is definitely very trendy for 2019. And as you guys can also see, these have gradient lenses. So it's going to be darker here at the top and then progressively get lighter. These sunglasses, just like all personal sunglasses, are going to be made in Italy. They're going to say that here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses. Then taking a look here at the earrest, they're going to have very nice and pretty acetate earrests, which are going to feel very good behind the ear. These sunglasses also have all metal hinges, which are going to be pretty nice, but they're going to be spring hinges. So as you guys can see, they're actually going to bend out custom to the face. And they actually don't have the Meflecto stem system, even though they do have those traditional two little dots that would be traditionally found on a Meflecto stem system. System, but instead of actually that system, they're going to have spring hinges, which is good and bad. Spring hinges are definitely very trendy, and a lot of companies are coming out with them because they are cheaper to produce than the Miflecto stem system is. But these hinges definitely get the job done. But unfortunately, because they are spring hinges, they're going to spring out like this. They're not going to feel very good when opening up and when closing them. You're not going to have that premium personal feel like other personal sunglasses have. Popping these back on face, we can see there's going to be a personal logo etched here in the top left of the lens and if they're polarized they're going to have a P after that Purcell logo. They're also going to have very nice and premium fully adjustable nose rests and through these nose rests there's going to have a Purcell etched in the metal through them and that's going to look very nice and of course be there for authentication purposes. Taking a look at the top corners of the sunglasses we can see the two Purcell Supreme arrows which are going to be found on every pair of Purcell sunglasses but usually these arrows are going to be chrome or silver or something like that but these are actually going to be color matched to the frames, which is going to give them a very unique and really cool look. If we take a look at the outside earrest, we can see a silver Purcell logo, which is going to be indented here on the earrest. And that again is going to be there for authentication purposes. And it's only going to be found here on the right ear rest. So it's not going to be found here on the left, which is something to note. As far as coverage from the sun, these are going to offer decent coverage, definitely not the best. There is going to be a gap to let sunlight in unprotected here up top. And if we take a look at the outsides, again, there's going to be a pretty big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. So these are not going to be the most practical pair of sunglasses, but I definitely think they look very unique and pretty cool on face. As far as weight goes, these sunglasses are definitely going to be very top heavy. That's because they have all glass lenses. As you guys know, Purcell has absolutely fantastic all glass lenses and glass lenses are going to give you the absolute best clarity, but unfortunately they're going to be much heavier than plastic. And because of that, they're going to be a little unbalanced and they're going to be a little bit top heavy as you guys can see here. But I do like the absolutely amazing optical quality of the sunglasses. And I definitely think it's worth the trade-off to have these all glass lenses on a very premium pair of personal sunglasses than if they were to put cheap plastic lenses in here. As far as pricing goes, I believe these sunglasses cost around $310 to I think $300 and $60, but I picked these up on Amazon for much less, and I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check these sunglasses out on Amazon. You should be able to save a little bit of money there. But overall, I do really like these sunglasses. I really like the style. It is definitely very trendy, but I do like the style, and I love how Purcell made a pair of square sunglasses like these for you guys to enjoy. I really like Purcell. They're probably one of my favorite brands, and I absolutely love the optical quality and the build quality of their Italian-made sunglasses. But that's all good for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then be notified every single time about a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.